Hi, this is Randy from Zephyr's Travels, and I want to share with you a product we just picked up at the International Rally here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Uh, one of the vendors here was SnapPad, and you may be familiar with them. They make these heavy rubber pads for fifth wheels that go on the landing gear, um, and it eliminates the need to have to put blocks or anything underneath it. Well, they now make them for travel trailers. So this is the pad that will go on the front tongue jack, and it's a five and a half inch diameter uh, pad that just snaps on. And this one here has a square opening on it that matches the uh, stabilizing jacks. So we've got a set of these. And I'm anxious to see how they work. So I'm going to put them on the trailer. I'll show you that in a minute. But first, let me show you some video from one of the uh, vendors at the rally as she explains all the advantages of why you'd want some of these. And then we'll come back and we'll show you how they get installed onto your trailer. So snap pad is basically shoes for your RV. You're going to protect your feet and you can protect your tongue jack. Uh, a lot of the parks want um, something between their pad and um, your feet. Right. So when you walk through an RV, it kind of jars and it can dig into the asphalt and damage their pad. So this meets those requirements. So um, it's going to protect that. Um, it gives you a lot larger um, footprint, so um, when you're not on an um, asphalt or concrete mm -hmm. pad, um, it's going to keep you from sinking into the ground, like it's raining right, right. now, keep you from sinking down in the ground. Um, another thing is it gives you a lot more stability within the RV because of the bigger footprint, so it gives you the stability when you're walking through. You're going to not feel it shaking as much. And the other thing it does is um, protects the foot so when you're going out there and you're on a grass area you may not think to look for a rock and you lower your foot and it bends your foot up because you went down onto a rock oh. so that's going to protect that as well and the other thing you know these are permanent so when once you install them you raise your gear it comes up with with your gear so you're not leaving them behind. Right. You're not having to pick them up and put them in your storage compartment covered in mud and dirt and taking away very vital storage space. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing is, you think about with your feet down in the ground, that's two metal rods. You're a, a circuit for indirect lightning strikes. So this is actually gonna ground you and protect you from any indirect lightning strike strikes. And I, I like, the reason I'm getting them I like is the fact that once you put them on there, I don't have to get that other flap or, or whatever it is right. underneath You're, there. When absolutely. I, they're, they're permanent. So, yes, yeah, because yep. we set up and move quite a bit. So, okay. you know, it's one less thing I got to do, especially if we're just doing it overnight. Right, right, absolutely. They're permanent. They don't, they, they're don't. they not going to come off unless you forget to raise your gear and then yeah. you hit a curve. But, you know, other than that, they're going to stay on there. And it's a product that you can put on and forget about it. Yep. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. The trick to installing these, they told me, is to use a little Dawn um, dishwashing soap and put it on the pad around here to make it slippery. And then you slip this underneath the jack and you lower the jack into it and they should pop right in. So we're going to give that a try. Oh, and by the way, I apologize if I look a little sweaty. It was 100 degrees here today, so it's pretty warm here in Texas. Uh, but I wanted to get this out and show it to you. Actually, I really wanted to get these on the trailer. So I wanted to do that and I also wanted to show it to you guys. All right, so the snap pads are all installed on all of the stabilizer jacks and the front tongue jack. And as you can see, they snap onto the metal plate that's on the bottom of them and they stay there so that you don't longer have to find a block of wood or some type of those plastic um, blocks to put underneath your stabilizers. And unless you need to adjust them for height, you can just put your um, stabilizers right down on the ground or in the pavement or whatever, and they're protected. The nice thing too is you don't have to take them on or off. Once they're on, they're on for good. And you can travel down the road with them and everything, no problem. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit of something. And if these are something that you are looking for for your trailer, I will put a link in the description to the manufacturer and you can check out and see if they have them for your trailer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And leave us a comment. Let us know, have you tried snap pads on your trailer? Or is it something you've been thinking about? Let us know in the comments, we'd appreciate that. Till the next time, this is Randy and we will see you down the road. Bye everybody.